How's it going, Rogues Gallery? And welcome to a Grand Archive video here on Red Zone Rogue. We have today an entire case of Mercurial Heart, and we're going to open up this whole case, six booster boxes, in today's video. I recently just got back from doing casting for the World Championship for Grand Archive, and then I was in Japan for 10 days. So I was basically gone for about three weeks or so. We had these waiting for me when I got back and ooh, I'm so excited. I've seen some people open up stuff already. I've seen the CURs. I've seen a bunch of stuff. I cannot wait for this set. Grand Archive is such an awesome game. This set is really, really good. It's, it's so good. Um, so there's one other thing before we get started. I want to mention we will have a full story time kind of recap of the Grand Archive World Championship with like some cool footage and some cameos from artists you will definitely recognize and good friends of mine and it's just a, a great time but I wanted to do the case opening as soon as possible so <laughs> yeah let's do it oh, I'm so stoked let's do it all right we have Grand Archive Mercurial Heart a sealed case just just for me this is my own personal sealed case I do have one more that's right I bought two this time I bought both of these from Potomac Distribution because the main place that I typically buy these from was sold out. I usually buy these from Top Spot Cards and they were completely, completely sold out. So we got them from an old favorite, uh, Potomac Distribution. They were the place that I used to buy all of my Force of Will from back in the day. So it's cool to, to buy them from here. I actually talked a little bit about Force of Will, you know, during this... Uh, the Grand Archive World Championship because one of the main, um, you know, guys behind Grand Archive um, was a fan of mine from the old Force of Will days, which just kind of like absolutely blew me away when he told me that. Um, just, I, I, I don't even have words like super, super humbled, honestly. Um, yeah, especially when people, you know, been watching me for that long. So anyway, Let's open up some Grand Archive. I'm so excited for this set. Um, there's some amazing cards in here, and of course, my girl Tristan. Cannot wait to build a just a just a really really fun Tristan deck. Um, and I think she's also like quite strong. So here's our first box of Mercurial Heart. Is the little the little smug Tristan down there? Let's see if you can see it. Join the Grand Archive champion. It, Champions as they uncover ancient secrets battle against the darkness uh, within humanity and attempt to restore peace to the fragmented world. The fate of both humanity and automata rests in your hands. Yo, let's do it. Expansion to Alchemical Revolution. All right, enough kind of like fiddling around. We got we got some we got some packs to get into. All right. All right. By the way, um, if you like this playmat, and I'll mention this as we open up the packs, uh, we still have a few available over on redzonerogue.com, drawn by an artist and great friend of mine, uh, Lucky Yuki. Uh, ooh, Tristan, first pack, let's go. Actually, let's kind of get a nice nice little zoom in on here. Uh, Hidden Enclave, we're gonna go pretty quickly at some point. Uh, Springleaf, ooh, Sinister uh, Mind Reaver, that's uh, uncommon. We have Refracted Twilight uncommon, and then we have a rare Alka Hest. We'll put the rares kind of over here. Um. In case you're curious as well, I will have a full opening and review of both of the Recollection decks. We already have kind of like a, you know, gorilla opening here on the channel at the uh, world premiere event. But uh, I want to do like a proper opening and review here here on Red Zone Rogue. Cell Handler, very, very cool. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to do like a full story time vlog of, of the world's event. Uh, spoilers, it is literally one of the best trading card game events that I've ever been to in my entire life. And, dude, this card. Dude, it's Haunchu! Dude, this art is sick! Bro. Uh, anyway, the art in this art in this game is real. Ooh, foil, just in the middle of the pack. Uh, this is Windblessed Rangefinder. Ooh, I want to mention something about these foils. So apparently, these foils are done a little bit differently. You can see that they're a little bit darker, but they're doing a process that is more resistant to curling, which I think is... Super cool and super, super interesting. We have City Protector Uncommon, uh, Mechanical Hair, adorable, and then a rare Imperial Apprentice, also super, super cute. Ooh, shout out to Taro Taro. Uh, she's one of the artists at um, that was at Worlds, and when I like went up to her booth, 
She was like, oh, are you a YouTuber? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, oh, I, I watch your content. Once again, also incredibly, incredibly humble. I don't know why. Dude, Han. Han, your art is so good. Um, but anytime like a non-card game player, yo, this is Blue Archive, um, says they watch my stuff, I'm just so, so flattered. Like, it, I don't, I don't know why. It's just like, I, I don't know. I am. So anyway, Taro Taro was very nice. And uh, she does uh, brilliant, brilliant art. Ooh, Imperial Spy. I have actually not seen all of the cards. So I immediately went from this event, went one day home. I, I really like this card. I went one day home, did my laundry, and then I flew to Japan for 10 days. And now I'm finally back. So I've been kind of like, you know, on like a little bit of a hiatus. This card's great. It's a two for three, basically, on attack if you're an assassin. This card's really cool. Um, ooh, Lunar Seer. I also really like Lunar Seer. Beautiful art, of course, is done by Feicha. Uh, just a really cool card as well. There's, there's so many awesome... Ooh, first, first SR. Andronica, Eternal Herald. I think she's really, really good as well. Dude, there's so many good stuff in this set. So much good stuff in this set. Um, so much to talk about. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a nice... We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a nice like story time recapping worlds because I, I have a lot to say, and um, I, I've loved and been a huge supporter. Ooh, I'd this card is incredible, of of Grand Archive since the start, but um, I I think that they how do I put this into words? Because I already think Grand Archive is legit, but like it it, it is incredibly incredibly good, and I think it's one of those games that. You know, you you should be playing it if you're not playing it. Let's put it that way. I think it's incredible, and I think it does everything that I want to see a trading card game do. <laughs> here's the here's the Bonatar. If you if you understand that reference, then hey, you've watched uh, all of all of me doing casting for nationals as well. I uh, really love the art on this one as well. Man, the art is so good, but the game is like as good as the art, which says a lot. Um, Scorching Trap, Yoshi, <laughs> that is not a, not a good time. Potion Infuse, Blaze, uh, Vertigris Decree. So three drop, Cleric Spell imbue three, choose one. If Vertigris Decree is imbued, choose two. Suppress an ally, up to one ally gets plus two, or destroy up to one Fantasia. The card's sick. The card's sweet, dude. Of course, it also has Tristan Art, so I'm a big fan. Big, big fan. Uh, and if you're like, hey, if you could pull anything, what would you pull? Obviously the Tristan C.U.R. Like, not, no question. Um, I'd take a full one of those too. But, no, I want the Tristan C.U.R. Dude, this card, this dude looks sick. Beast Keeper. Automaton Beast Keeper. Oh, the art. I, I can't keep, I can't keep saying that, but I mean like, they can't keep getting away with it, man. Art is too good. Art is too good. Uh, okay, so if I, if it's not a C.S.R. or, or C.U.R., what do I hope to pull? Well, any Tristan C.U.R. I just want anything Tristan, right, basically. And then after that, if it's like, oh, if it's any normal foil, Tristan. Like, give me the Tristan. Oh, I love this art, too. The Windblessed Forecaster. This is one of the pieces of artwork we saw in, like, their, their gallery at the at Worlds before the card was spoiled. And it was like, yo, I, I really dig it. They're really speaking to me on a lot of levels with, with this set. There's, like, the, the witch girls and, like, the cool assassin stuff and... Oh, I love it. Got Crusty Runes, got a Slip Away, and then our rare is the Power Defender. Um, yeah. So, I think I'm building, <laughs> I'm gonna build a Arasana deck. God, the art. Um, I'll, I love this one, Hide in Bush. It's so good. Um, Bolster Ranks, rare. This is with one of the new characters. She's really cool. She's one of the super rares. I believe. I think she's a super rare. I don't, I don't think she's an ultra rare. For URs, obviously, I want Final Stroke. Um, but there's some other URs that I think are really good that I would also like. Uh, this, I forget her name, but this assassin, assassin ally, obviously, definitely want. Um, ooh, here's an SR, Engineered Slime. Uh, the slimes are really, really strong. Engineered Slime's a little bit different, right? Because I think it... It's the slime that uh, you want, uh, like, it has power cell bonuses and stuff, so it's it's a little, little different, but I don't know, maybe, maybe it's gonna work. Go ask main deck Dan, he, he might know, he, he's way into the slimes. We have the port side pirate, 
better than I thought it was initially, I think, but still, like, <laughs> wind bless, uh, wind, wind, wind bless switch. Yeah, the port side pirate, I thought it was like a once, like a ETB effect, but you can do it as multiple times, which makes it better for sure. How much better? I don't know. I don't know. Is it playable? I don't know. Uh, buried Grief, Liquid Amnesia. Ooh, super rare. Ice Bound Slam. <laughs> Shout out to Main Deck Dan again. I, I watched a bit of his, uh, his like multiple case openings and it took him like, I don't know, a lot of cases in order to get a single Ice Bound Slam. Yo, is that, that's Crimson Tear. Yo, let's go. Synthetic Strike. Two for three, Guardian Sword, as long as the attacker is attacking Automaton, gets plus one. Okay, sure, 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 sure. So it's like a two for four if it's attacking an Automaton. We have, that's an Uncommon, Eternal Dreamer, and then Harvester MK2, super cute. All right, so we've gotten four SRs. I think the average is around like four to six. Beautiful, beautiful Tristan. We'll take any Tristan foil, please. Um, but we have not pulled our UR yet. We've got li Liquid Amnesia. Ooh, debil Debilitating Grasp. Another uh, Tristan, Tristan card. Yeah, dude, so much to talk about for, for Worlds. This video is going to help me like kind of like get my thoughts all in order, I suppose, because I do, ha I do have a lot to say. Ooh, Foil, Imperial, Imperial Scout. Yeah, the Foiling, I'm, I'm not sure how much I like it yet. Like I said, it is a departure from before. Ooh, Prima Materia, let's go, dude. Shout out to, uh, to Lineage Break. Hell yeah. All right, that's a cool one. Very happy with that. Uh, I got a poster, like a, like a foil poster of that art. I'm a big fan of Arasana. Um, definitely one of my favorite characters in Grand Archive. Uh, Spirit of Falconer, I think this is actually pretty good. Uh, under fire and then we have ooh cease amplification super rare uh, this is the art that uh, we saw kind of early on the fight your art all right last pack last pack of box one and then we're gonna probably go much much quicker uh, though we can't be like too quick because they sneakily put the foil kind of kind of in there we're gonna dodge roll looks great priestess of flame that's definitely haunt you art yes yes it is Globespire Sniper, and then our final card is the Imperial Apprentice. Once again, shout out to Taro Taro. All right, so that was our, as I bumped the camera, that was our first box. I'm gonna keep some of these boxes kind of, kind of nice so I can have them in like the background display because they look incredible. They do look incredible. So I think what we'll do here is something I do for some other card games. So I'll put the foils up here. I'm probably gonna just kind of stick the rares you know what? Maybe we'll put the foil somewhere else. I think what I'm what I'm trying to say is I want to lay out all all of the the boxes so you can kind of see what the pulls were as we go, right? So we got super rares, and then we'll kind of go from there. I'll put the foils. I'll put the foils right there. All right, box two of six. Really hoping we get a CSR. We've we've not we've never not gotten a CSR. In, in our boxes. And like I said, these are my personal boxes. These are not given to me by Weaves of the Shore or anything like that. I, I bought these from Potomac Distribution. So I've had some pretty good luck buying from Potomac before. Um, that's how I got like my God packs and Force of Will and all that, all that kind of good stuff. So, you know, hopefully we get some good stuff here. Ooh, Lunar Seer, love to see it. Slip away, backup charger. Gonna have to move that over a little bit so I don't bump it. Yeah, the Prima Materia is one of the ones that I definitely want to get um, multiple copies of because I'm gonna be running it in an, an Arasana deck. Uh, same with uh, Final Cut. I think I wanna get at least two, or my Final Stroke, at least two or three. Ooh, Overlord MK3. So this is our ultra rare for this one. This is a unique ally. This is a big old buff automaton guardian. All right, cool. Well, we're not gonna get a final stroke in this box unless we get a foil one. Um, someone at the event did get a foil one and they showed it to me. Um, I think we're gonna go about, about this quick about this quick now. Ooh, look at that double double potion. And then a uh, ravishing finale, super rare. I know there's a lot of people who are pretty high on the Nico, 
the Nico Watermill deck. Dude, give me the Assassin Girl. That's all I that's all I want. <laughs> that's all I want. Just give me the Assassin Girls, alright? Uh, Refracted Twilight. I think our card's sweet. Suffocating Miasma. You gotta say it like that. And I'll remind you once again, if you'd like this gorgeous playmat, we do have a few more left available on redzonerogue.com. Um, I like this automaton drone token a little bit more than the first one, though I still think their forearms are just kind of creepy. Kindling Flare, Fractal of Rain, haven't seen that one yet, and a Krusty Patrol. It's Crystallin Pat Patrol, I'm calling it Krusty Patrol, all right. It's a Krusty Crab. Not a crusty crab. <laughs> Reduce the ashes. Ooh, another Tristan. Hello. Um, Windbless Hurricane Farm. That just sounds cool. That just sounds cool. Oh, we got her. Let's go. Saudi Blood Harvester. Let's go. Um, I I will bet you. And I, Han, Han Chu, if you're watching this video, did the original version of this art was was that like opened up or did they make you cover it? Knowing you and knowing your art, I have a feeling that that was opened, and they're like, no, oh, you gotta cover that. You can't make it that lewd. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just guessing. <laughs> For the record, I would have liked it either way. But you know. You know, you know. Uh, we have Collapsing Trap. Uh, kindling Flare. We're getting a lot of these Kindling Flares. Loaded Thoughts. I'm so happy we got the Blood Harvester. Saudi, I'm gonna need a full playset of her, please, please. I uh, would love to get if I if I can't get CSR Tristan, I'll take a CSR Saudi. That's that's my next next in line. Ooh, Mercenaries Blade, one of my spoiler cards. Let's go, let's go. Nice, uh, very very good card. Like it's actually like a assassin staple. You need one of those for all your assassin decks. It it's super good. Well, at least any assassin deck that you know is making. Um, Prep counters to, to any degree. Uh, Gloomspire Snipper. We have a uh, good old big big Chungus. Big old Chungus. Hmm, I, I realize we're gonna have to like push these up. Ooh, hello. Hello, Tristan. I would like to get another copy of Tristan 3. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, this is not the one that I mentioned, but. The one from the starter deck, like, I don't, whatever reason, the packaging on the starter deck scuffs up the sides for the first card, which is the, which is the level three, um, champion. So I'd like another copy, but I will also take the Shadow Reaver as well. Definitely need this. So cheers. Very happy with the, the Shadow Reaver. If I can't pull the, the C-U-R, this is the card that can be, that can be the C-U-R, by the way. Um, if I open the C-U-R, what am I doing with it? Uh, playing with it? keeping it and playing with it that's that's what i'm doing i actually kind of regret selling my merlin 3 csr so i, I have a i had a, the alt art merlin 3 csr um and i also had the majestic spirit which you probably saw me open on channel we have the charge hunter super super cute um port side pirate definitely dig the art and then a blade of creation yeah, so I, I kind of regret selling my ancestral spirit and the um, and the Merlin. Yeah, um, at the time I didn't really play them. Ooh, ooh, oh, dude, this is a huge hit. This is one of this is a foil. You are fragmented spirit of wind. Yo, this is actually really really good. Oh, dude, double you are box, um, and one of them is the the, the spirit. Foil spirits, yes, yes, please. I'm not sure like how much they're worth, but dude, that that that's sick. Happily, we happily take that. I, I will probably be using that actually to start out. I think I think the first Tristan deck I build. Ooh, we have a meteor strike. This card's sick too. This is a really good one for for uh, Arasana. But no, I, th I think I'm gonna start off doing wind for Tristan first because there's so much good like wind assassin support now. And then probably, I'll probably try out that that uh, that spirit in particular. All right, Stargazer's Portent. I think that card's really good. And another debilitating Grayus. Case is pretty good so far. Case is pretty good. Not gonna lie. Beautiful, beautiful artwork there. Foil. Ooh, Powered Bishop. Very nice. Not the foil common 
fire ally waifu that I wanted, but it's still pretty good. Uh, Reflect the Skies, very nice card. Uh, Buried Grief, and then an Emerald Pistol. Dude, come on, just give me, give me Tristan <laughs> CSR. If I keep, this is the one that I want for, by the way. But uh, I gotta keep saying it so I can I can materialize it from from my memory. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I, th I think this set's like incredible, um, and I think it is um, one of those things that if they can you know, continue this path, then uh, it can just be like, you know, upward and onward for Grand Archive. I think it already is, to be honest. The game's doing super, super well. There is CSR Om Ominous Shadow, by the way. Um, but uh, I think it could just be like even better. Oh, the artist is Gule. Shout out to Gule. Another one of my favorite artists. Um, and if you're watching this far, ooh, Eternal Magistrate. If you're watching uh, this far, You'll know, I'll let you know that uh, I'm actually going to be working with Gule. Uh, he's going to help me do some um, Katsumi art that I'm going to use for like a, like updated art for like thumbnail. Ooh, another foil. Uh, backup charger. Oh, is this the one that just draws you a card? Yeah, this one draws you a card. This is pretty good. A lot of people use this card. So getting getting a full version of this is actually quite nice. Uh, volatile Fusilier. We have a mechanical hair. And then final card is a seizure. <laughs> Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to be working with Gule, and uh, we're going to be doing like a piece of um, Katsumi art that I'm going to be using for a lot of thumbnails. Um, and we also might make it into a full splash art at some point, um, then make it into play mats and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, Gule's super cool, and uh, well, spoilers a little bit, uh, he was at the world premiere event. So I got to hang out with Gule, and um, yeah, good, good, good stuff. Uh, I was already working with Gule ahead, of, like before that. I reached out to him because I really like his artwork, and um, well, yeah, you'll see you'll see it uh, in in due time. In due time, you have Cell Handler. Um, yeah. All right, that box was great. By the way, that was a really good box. Um, I I got once again high hopes for these expunge. Ooh. This is our first expunge. Uh, big shout out to Feicha, another artist that um, I will potentially work with in the future. Feicha's very, very busy right now, but uh, they're gonna be at the uh, Ascent in Taipei. Shred to Ribbons. Oh, this is the the one that uh, Cam and I kind of like spoiled at the, the Nats uh, coverage stream. The card that I called the, the Bonator. We have City Protector, like they are on that card. We have Eternal Dreamer, and then it's it's the uh, Bonatar that's getting shredded, right? Like it's it's the guy. I'm pretty sure it's the guy. Pretty sure. Um, all right. Anyway, we can we could probably start moving a little a little bit quicker. Uh, we have Reflect the Skies, Amnesia, some Ceremonial Stormblade. Pretty cool. I still, I'm moving a little bit slow because I realize that there are some like uncommons and maybe even some commons that we haven't actually seen yet um like how often have i seen this potion of growth i don't know man uh beautiful beautiful honchu artwork spirited falconer under fire and then a blessed clergy also by honchu um did y'all see the announcement for the next set the um mortal ambition it's kind of it kind of has like this uh romance of the three kingdoms vibe which totally makes a lot of sense since they're like really expanding into like Southeast Asia, um, you know, Asia area. Makes a lot of sense. Very, very cool. Um, there's a panda in one of the arts. Definitely gonna be like tamer, something tamer. Art is very cute on that card too. Siphoning Fractal, Refracted Twilight. Ooh, super rare, Revenant Scourge. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Uh, this one, I don't have I read this one. One drop, four attack, class bonus on champion hit. If there are one or more curse cards in the ch hit champion's lineage, wake up the attacker and draw a card. That seems that seems real good. So basically, it's a it's an assassin card that 
as a kind of a payoff for cursing your opponent. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Hey, look, Tristan. Hmm. Got crusty runes. Not a crusty crab. We have a power defender. Beautiful. Beautiful. Dude, I can't wait to see where Grand Archive goes. Like, we have the whole, like, Three Kingdoms set coming up. We'll probably have, like, an expansion set. It definitely feels like they're doing, like, a big set, expansion set, and then, like, a new world, which is really exciting. Ooh, another engineered slime, sure. It's our first uh, SR duplicate, I think. Um, and uh, I, I really like that idea. Like, we're just kind of going through different worlds. It feels kind of like how... Magic used to feel with, you know, before they started doing like, you know, hey, it's a new world, but it's, uh, you know, Assassin's Creed or whatever. <laughs> or it's like, uh, here's Doctor Who. Um, yeah. Or it's just like, it's Cowboy World with like, no soul. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little too harsh on that. I don't think I am. <laughs> I don't think I am. But um, I really love what Grand Archive is doing. Yo, Tristan, I got to... Anytime we see Tristan, I gotta be like, yo, yo, Tristan. Uh, Aquavite, bolster ranks. Oh, we gotta pull her too. She, she's really cool. She's a Neos ally. Uh, she has like big paladin vibes. Um, I, I like, I like her art design quite a bit. Um, ooh, haven't pulled this one yet. Oh, this is by Dragon Art Triss. I also got some cool stuff from Triss. She was, she was also there. The Dragon Art folks are just awesome. So Seaside Ringleader, super rare. Beautiful. She's riding, riding those dolphins. Um, yeah, the artists were, were all, I mean, the whole event was just incredible. Like, from top to bottom, the way it ran, um, the extra things you could do, like the side events, the community, like the stream, like everything top to bottom was, was incredible. Uh, like I said, one of the best trading card game events I've ever been to, and I've been to a lot in my life. Um, I'm older than I look, and I've been to a lot of card gaming events. Alchemical Scripture, very cool. Um, yeah, well, you'll, 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 you'll see you'll see it in the in the vlog in the vlog. We have a Cell Generator, Potion Infused Blaze, and then Calamity Cannon, big big Chungus coming on in. Plus 10. Biggest buff in the game, like just raw, right? I think, currently, possibly. Uh, we got the Priestess of Flame, and then, ooh, Vainglory Retribution. I have pulled one of these before. Pulled in one of my, uh, um, it was either in the prize pack for the recollection event or from my recollection box. I think it was from a prize pack, right? Um, Lost in thought. I got a couple more packs left. We one of them's definitely gonna be the UR, because you're basically guaranteed a UR per box, right? I've never God, the art is so good. I just simple, love this assassin. Ah, oh, it's so good. Hooking me up with all the cool assassin stuff. Uh, we have Frost Shard Rare. Alright, this is our last pack. <laughs> last pack. Oh no. This better have a UR in it. Um didn't, how many foils did we get? I don't know. All right. Oh, okay. Well, there we have a foil. This is Convoking Slime. This is a rare Neo Slime. Interesting. I don't think I've seen this one before. And then we have an Uncommon. We have an Uncommon. And we should have a U... Okay, we do have a UR. We do have a UR. What color is it? Ooh. It's... it's is it an ally? Shadow's Claw knows the weapon! Oh, good. Okay, we really needed this one. Uh, this is Shadow's Claw. This is the UR Tristan bonus dagger. Awesome. We are, we are assembling we are assembling the pieces slowly. Gotta scooch, scooch everything up because we still have like several more <laughs> several more boxes. Uh, let me actually cycle the camera real quick because we're at the halfway point. All right. Halfway point. Box number... Four of six. Um, pretty good so far. <laughs> pretty pretty good, I'll, I'll be honest, right? We got a foil UR, which is always like pretty sick. Um, haven't got any foil SRs quite yet, but foil UR is very good, and the other URs that we've pulled have been very good. So, overall, 
Very good. Um, we did get one, is it Saudi or Scotty? Saudi? Uh, definitely need more of her. Uh, would like at least th three more of her. Two to three more of her. Um, for URs, we haven't gotten Final Stroke yet. So that that's definitely on the agenda. God, the art is so good. Um, the blue archive card. And then there's like some SRs and stuff we haven't pulled yet. So uh, a lot of stuff to still be had in uh, in MRC here. Such a sweet set. Really fun to open actually. Automaton, Beast Keeper, Surge Protector, and the Ritual. And there's always a chance at the, at the CSR. I've seen so many people and friends open them up. I'm very, very jealous. I'm just like, I just gotta get home and crack my cases so I can make decks, but also so I can see if I pull a CSR. And of course, you know, it's definitely gonna be a Tristan. Actually, I lied, it's not gonna be a Tristan. It's gonna be a C-U-R Tristan. So, you know, I just hate to, hate to break it to you. It's gonna be number one or number 69. C-U-R Tristan. I actually don't even, ooh, Foil City Protector. Yeah, the foiling is so dark, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I kind of, I don't know. I'm still, I'm still undecided how much I like it or not. Ooh, okay. We definitely wanted this one. Penumbral Waltz, another uh, SR assassin card. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, we take those. Thank you very much. We did get the Tristan Shadow Dancer at least. So, you know, we're, we're, we're well on our way. It, we're, it's it's you know, we're getting like a trickling a little a little smitter smatter <laughs> i hate that of uh what is this skirting step i don't think i've pulled one of these yet hmm. uh, we've got grief we've got, got a lot of grief and we've got a lot of seizures but not not a lot of the steps not a lot of big big steppers all right god the art is great in that one. oh yeah naya or whatever we haven't pulled any of her yet either we have a Reflect the Skies, Wind Bless Rage Finder, and a Suffocating Miasma. Yeah, Tristan's so interesting because, like, you know, very much like, um, you know, the Luxem Xander strategy, she really wants to get to level, uh, level three as fast as possible and, you know, make use of all of her super powerful, like, Umber cards, which is, like, uh, geez, that pack just, like, <laughs> almost like the card almost, like, flew out. Anyway, she just wants to make use of all of her really cool Umber cards, right? Ooh, well, that, that's the pack that had the UR. So this is the Fragmented Spirit of Water. Nice. I got the Fire one at the uh, at the pre-release event, so now I have the full set. Cool. I'll take that. Definitely need to get that at some point. Um, now, we're just going to open up a couple Prima Materia and then uh, some Final Strokes. And then we're like, we're, then we're peachy, right? Then we're, ooh, who is this? Bertha Spy Howitzer. Dude, I have not seen this card yet. Dude, she's so cute. And she, she's got a big gun. Um, sweet. There's still still opening cards we haven't I haven't seen yet. Alright. Uh, Tristan. I once again gotta point it out every time we open the Tristan. Portside Pirate. Meteor Strike. Oh, this is another great one. So this is our second Meteor Strike. Uh, we definitely need a couple of those. That's a really, really important card for uh, Arasana. It's really good. I think we I think we want at least two or three of them. So yeah, nice. Uh, Tonic of Remembrance. Charged Gunslinger, amazing art. Bolster the ranks, got a lot of those. Got a lot of those. Another one. And I will mention I have I have one more case. So I did buy two cases of this set. And that's, that's Kind of about what I buy for Grand Archive. I, I buy about, ooh, Forge Light Blade. I buy about 10 to 12 boxes per, per set. Um, for Dawn of Ashes, I've opened up a little bit more because I got like like 12 boxes of the Kickstarter and then like a few more boxes of like uh, Alter Edition. Aqua Vitae, another Bolt of the Ranks. Yep, got a lot of those. But our SR, like, we've had a, a pretty nice variety of our SRs, which is, which is pretty... Pretty solid here. Uh, Charged Hunter, very cute. Eternal Dreamer, and then a Critical Recovery. Have we gotten? I don't know if we've gotten many of those, if, if any. 
That was just a rare. Hmm. I mean, the set the set is like bigger than Fractured Crown, so you know it, it will be like difficult to pull everything. I think Stargazer's Portent and Diablery. This card's very very interesting. Very very cool card. Yeah, we've gotten about you know five. Wait, is it exactly five? SRs in every single box. All right, it's pretty, pretty steady so far. Um, ooh, the foil, foil Bonatar. Got the the, the foil Bonatar. Um, beautiful Falconer, under fire, and then a prototype shield. Um, move the spirit down. We have we have pulled our UR for this box. Pretty happy, once again, pretty happy with the URs that we've pulled so far. Um, yeah. Uh, Siphoning Fractal, Twilight, and then Frost Shard. More Sadis, please. More... More Sadis, please? Uh, more Foil Tristans, <laughs> please. Uh, we got uh, that stuff, and then a Cerulean Decree. Uh, super rare. Nice. So, yeah. Five again, very very like consistent that we've been we've just been opening um, five SRs plus the um, hold on we're gonna we're gonna scoot all this up so we can fit at least two more boxes worth of uh, of pulls here. All right, so I'm gonna do like a little little overlap. All right, we can we can fit we can fit five here. Uh, so we had this and this in one box. Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, two more boxes. Let's... I'm unsure what I'm going to do with the final case or my other case. I might do like a stream. I might just open it in my own time. I'm still kind of like a little jet lagged, so I don't know. I, mean, I might just open it in my own time and just be like, oh, this is fun. But watch it. If I do, that, that's, when, that's, that's when I start pulling like the CSRs and stuff, right? It happens, it happens all the time. Um, Lost in Thought. That's when I opened up my uh, Merlin, right? Like, I was just like, oh, I'll just, I'll, I'll buy a box and open it to myself. Oh, hey, here's a, here's a Mer Merlin CSR, cool. Ooh, ooh, beautiful. Got a foil uh, purification. This is by uh, Han. Yo, look at that, it looks so good. Shout out to Han Chu, as always. Hey, look, Icebound Slam. I heard, uh, I heard, uh, one of the main deck guys who <laughs> was looking for those. <laughs> Bro, you want, you want my Icebound Slams? I'll trade you for your Sadis. I only got one. I need, I need more Sadis. Ooh. Well, here's my second Eternal Magistrate. Very, very cool. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Eternal Magistrate. All right. Vigilant Sentry. We've definitely have had to have opened this up before, but I mean, like, I don't recognize it. The art is very, very good. We got Scorching Trap, another Falconer, and then another Windblessed Forecaster. Hey, I will, I'll take them. They're very pretty. Uh, let's see, Bandage Wound. Um, Fractal. We have Amnesia, and then another, <laughs> all right. All right, I said I'd take them, but we can we can slow down a little bit on them. We can we don't need that many of them. All right, uh, retold future. We'll take more of these. The the cutthroats, foil please, foil please, pirate. Ooh, vermilion decree. I have not seen this one. Three drop imbue three. Choose one if it was uh, imbued. Choose two instead. Deal three damage to a champion. Two damage to an ally. Or each player draws a card. This card's sick. This card's really good. What the hell? You hit your opponent for three and shoot one of the dudes for two. Or you can have both players basically do like an increasing danger. I don't know. That seems seems really good. Ooh, here's a foil Crustellian Ruins. Uh, under Fire Uncommon. Twilight. Loaded Dots. Got some loaded thoughts there, buddy. All right, for the UR for this pack... Or for this box. I mean, it could be for this pack. Um, final stroke, please. Final stroke, please. Lunar Seer. Love the artwork. 
And then we have a Convoking Slime as a rare. Rare Slime. I know there's also like a Vampire Slime. There's some like SR and UR Slimes. For sure. For sure. Charge Gunslinger. Suffocating Miasma. If you are watching this out there, when did you start playing Grand Archive? I know a lot of folks have been joining the last couple sets, so that's something that I'm a little bit interested in, you know, to know uh, how recent... Ooh, another Bertha. Small Bertha, but she's got a big gun. All right, that's four SRs down. Maybe maybe this is going to be like a, a heavy SR box. Back in um, first edition DOA, you could pull like a ton of SRs in a box, and then some boxes would have like none. Is there a third wind, wind bless forecaster in this box? All right, I, I guess I did ask for it. But I've also been asking for CSRs and CURs. And uh, clearly we haven't opened any. So, pack, please. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. And then another Goldius. I feel, I feel slightly trolled. Or Minotard, whatever. Trolled or Minode. Uh, beautiful artwork on that. Uh, molten... Oh, I just put these in the uncommon pile. No. All right. Molten Cinder, Cell Generator, and... Ooh, another Penumbra Waltz. Hell yeah, dude. Take as many of... Well, up to full play sets of any of the Tristan stuff. Gimme, gimme. Please and thank you. We got the Dagger UR, which is exactly what I needed. Um, ooh, Contraband Revolver. I think I've opened up one of those already. I think there's also like a... UR gun as well. I could probably use the UR gun. I do have a Diana deck that uh, does need to be upgraded. Dude, the art is like super like dynamic on that one. Uh, Potion Infuse, Sharpshooter, Power Defender. All right, we have we have five SRs already, but no UR. The five SRs, Harvester. MK2. I haven't opened up very many of these. Hmm. It'll be interesting to go back and see, like, I'm, I'm not gonna do this in the video, but in my own time, just to kind of go back and see how many of, of each of, like, the the rares and uncommons. Because I feel like some of them we get a lot of, and some of them, like, none? Like, very few? Um, reduced to ash. Uh, Charge Hunter. Once again, very cute. Um, Vapor Jet Shield. Rare. I imagine most of these are just going to be rares, right? Unless we get the... The wild extra... Extra SR. Which I don't think is going to happen, because I think we just saw the card. Yeah, it's a Cell Handler. Alright, final pack. This is the second time we've had final pack. Um, it's got to be the UR, right? We haven't opened up a UR in this box. All right, well, we're going to we're going to get through here. Get to the common. Got the cutthroat. I got runes. Gloam Spire Sniper. It is your. Oh, it's P Pinakis. Final stroke. Yo, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Yes. All right. Happy with that box. All right. Final final box of my first case of MRC. No CSRs, but I mean, like, it's usually, like, one in two to three cases or something like that, right? That's kind of, like, the average pull rate of a CSR. So, you know. If we don't get one here, I'll be fine as long as we... As long as we still get one in the other case. Um, I think Dan... Got, he Did he open three or four cases or something like that? I, I know he got more than me. But I don't remember exactly how much more than me. So Charge Hunter, Charge Gunslinger, and Expunge. I think that's our like our second Expunge. Just just a rare, but you know. All right, Turbo Charge. Um. So, oh god, the, the Umber cards are so sick. Blessed Clergy, shout out to Hunchu. Pinakis is one of another one of my favorite uh, artists in the game. There's a there's a you know, you know a game is good when you start, and the art in the game is good is when you start like having like favorite artists, right? Um, ooh, like uh, Taro Taro. 
Yeah, Taro Taro, Honshu, obviously, Baicha, obviously, Ghoul, Pinakis, uh, Dragon Art, Triss. Um, ooh, here's a foil. Is a foil SR? Yeah, Mechanized Smasher. Um, Guardian Fist. Yeah, foil SR. All right, so we did, we got a foil SR. All right, we'll take that. And it's a, a material deck card, which is also like super cool. A Regalia weapon has like two block and like four attack. Interesting. Interesting. We have a Skirting Step, Stargazer's Portent, and then a second Vermilion Decree. Hell yeah, dude. I think that card's sick. That card's really good. The decrees are all like really good. Um, personally speaking, I think I'm most interested in the wind and the fire currently because that's what I want to build, but I'm sure the water is good. Worn Diary. This is the first one of these we've gotten. I think, I think it might be. I think it might be. Um, all right. Well, we still have much of box to get through. Saudi? Oh, Bertha. All right, it's our third Bertha. What's she, what she do again? Fact activation, range two. She costs three. Class bonus two plus. So range or two plus. On enter, look at the top five cards of your deck. You can activate a ranger card with reserve cost two or less for Mung without paying its cost. Put the rest in your bottom. Dude, this card is sick. <laughs> She's so good. What the hell? Did you just get to play something for free? She's so good. All right, so that's the third Bertha. Am I making like a, you know, ranger allies Bertha deck? Probably. I, mean, I don't see why not. Lost in thought, but I really need more Saudis. Give me the Saudis, yo. We got three Berthas. We get, we get three Saudis. So this box is gonna have CSR Tristan, or no, I'm sorry, my bad. CUR Tristan. Uh, we'll have a, um, a foil Saudi and shoo, like another final stroke. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going max. I'm like max greed here. Uh, cell handler. That, that would be max, maximum greed for me. Realistic, realistically speaking, I don't think it's too much to ask for for an Asadi though. Um, Blade of Creation. Would be cool to see some of the other SRs though. Like the Paladin, Paladin girl. Um, and also like Naya. Haven't seen any of her at all. Uh, and I'm pretty sure she's just an SR. I don't think she's a UR. Ooh, Revenant Scourge. Hell yeah, that's our second one of that. Once again, very happy getting the double Tristan stuff. Hey, we got we got the Shadow Reaver at least, which is which is also pretty sweet. Not a not a CUR Shadow Reaver, but we got we got one. We got a Shadow Reaver. Um, seizure. Going the way this box, or this case is going, I probably, probably want to open up the other case on camera, just in case, just in case the case has the the CUR in it. It probably won't, right? Like the the likelihood is very low, but it's still there. The likelihood is still there, and I mean honestly, just kind of like as cases go, if I'm not gonna get a CSR in this case. I'm pretty happy with what we've gotten so far. Hey, we've got the Spirit of Wind. Um, sure, we'll take that. We got a full Spirit of Wind and, and a, a regular Spirit of Wind. I would have preferred to have a second copy of Materia or a second Final Stroke, but that's fine. It's fine. It is what it is. Um, ooh, Vainglory Retribution. It's our my third Vainglory Retribution. Yo, I should make a Vanitas deck. Vantas needs to get like a level three and then he needs to get a level four. We need to, one of the things that I was talking to folks um, about is I think one thing that Grand Archive could do a little bit better is having like bad guys that are like actually like really imposing and scary. Ooh, beautiful Eternal Dreamer. Like I think, I think they did a good job with uh, Vanitas and uh, Merlin, but I think like Vanitas being like just to level two doesn't make him feel quite as like as big, you know? So I think like having a Vanitas go to level three and then being like level four and be like, oh dude, he's so strong. Blade of Creation. 
All right, it's our last pack. <laughs> last pack for this case. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Likely not going to end up with too much here, but, um, you know, it was a fun time. Probably get a probably get an SR here. So, which SR are we going to get? I am realize I'm putting this in the wrong pile again. We are going to get a Saudi SR. That's what we're going to get. We're going to get a Saudi. All right, so, uncommon. Uncommon. SR. Oh, Twilight Slime. All right, cool. All right, we, we got we got we got the slime. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, everyone. This was a really sweet, really really sweet uh, case. We did get a foil UR, and it was a spirit, which I think is pretty good. Like getting a foil spirit is is pretty good, and I think the wind one is actually pretty sweet. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Oh, we got our we got our spoiler card too. Look at that, we got the final stroke. So, thank you so much for watching. And uh, stay tuned for a lot more Grand Archive here on Red Zone Road. I appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.